Remember, yesterday we did part of question four, but I'm still going to start with the first one so that we can just have clarity. Remember, I said when you deal with markups, you need to note the most important things. Again, here we have got the markup, as you can see. And I want you to tell me how much is the markup. Let's check the first row there. Remember, on that table there. What is the markup given to you? Markup of 25% on. How is the markup based on? They must tell you. On what? Guys, this makes a difference. Because if they say on cost, it will change the whole thing. So you need to be careful here. Make sure that you check this. This makes the difference. Are we together? And you and I, I remember that day when we were analyzing, we were on fire, okay? Remember? Yes. No problem. Now, when we analyze, obviously, I'm going to need what? Remember, I'm just saying, if you are still a beginner, you must do this. I don't like shortcuts. They are very dangerous, okay? So, you say cost price, and then we add what? Normally we add? Guys, you can't keep quiet. My cup. I know you know them, but please, just say it for me and say my cup. You add my cup, you get what? You need to know this formula. You will never go wrong. And be disciplined. Don't be in hurry. No. So, it doesn't matter whether the markup is on cost or on selling price. The fact is you must always have this formula. And it will never change. And you do this. Now, remember, if the markup is on selling price, where must we put our 100%? On selling price. On selling price, meaning we put 100 here. Are we together? Yes. Next time, it can be next week. They can say on cost. Your 100 will be where? Did you get that? So you must read. This is important. This helps you where to put 100. And obviously they gave us the markup of how much? 25? Skip it. Don't come with your own markup. So, now you must know cost price, but you need to satisfy the formula. So, if you check the formula, what must I put there so that I can satisfy the formula? 75. 75. Why? Because when I say 75 plus what? 25. I must get what? Please get that correct. And now you are ready for action. You know what I mean? This is easy. Like VC, SX, you can see it. Okay? Any question about this? No problem. Now we can calculate. Now, let's go back to the question. What are they asking you to calculate on that row? Cost price. Cost price. So, immediately I put what? Question mark. Because they want me to calculate cost price. If the question wanted me to calculate the markup, I would put the question mark here. If they asked me for selling price, I'll put the question mark there. Can you see now? But remember, they cannot ask you to calculate a certain amount if they don't give you at least one of those amounts. So from the given information, which one is it given as an amount here? They give us of how much? 700. Yeah. So this will help you a lot. So just put question mark where they ask you to cover something and put the amount because they gave you the amount. If they gave you this as the markup, you're supposed to put it here. If this was called cost price, you're supposed to put it there. Are we together? Yeah. Now, now you need to come to this. Remember this? It's important because I don't want you to make mistakes. So your fraction must come from this. You ask yourself a question. What am I trying to calculate here? Cost price. The cost price. So what is the percentage of the cost price? Uh-uh, uh, chess? 75. 75. Can you see now? Yeah. So if the question mark was here, you were supposed to put what? 25 on top. If the question mark was there, you were supposed to put what? 100 on top. So whatever you are looking for, 
its percentage must always be on top. Why did I put 75 on top? Because I'm looking for the cost price. Next time they're going to ask for the selling price, I'm going to put what? 100 on top. But we need to divide by what we have been given. We have been given which one? The selling price. So you must divide by the percentage of the amount given. I want you to master this. You will never go wrong, guys. I'm telling you. If you master that, you will never go wrong. So the important thing is for you to come up with this. Remember, you can use the formulas, but I don't like memorizing. For me, it's better for me to master this so that I can just keep changing what? The question marks. The question mark, I put this percentage on top. The amount, I put this one at the bottom. It's then that I can multiply by what? The amount. Which is 5,000. This will give me the answer that they are looking for. Which is how much? 5,000? No, it's 4,275. 4,275. 275. Please talk to me. Remember, this is for the beginners. If you know the quickest method, use it. As long as the answer is correct. But I've shown this first, so I can't change now. Just imagine changing a few days before the festival. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yes. So let's make sure that we understand this. I'm not convinced. Okay, I know some of you understand. So I just want to change this a bit with the same information and check if we understand or not. Can I? Do you want to take a picture of this or did you write it down? Okay, I can erase this. No problem. Ne? I'm going to erase this. So I just want to check what if Yes, they still say the markup is 25% on what? I mean, it won't change this. That's how we analyze. But now, they give you the markup. And they say that markup is 530. And they say, please, calculate cost price. The question will tell you what to calculate. The question will give you this amount. Remember, we must first come with the fraction. What must I put on top? 75, because I'm looking for it. What must I divide with? 25, because I've been given. And you just multiply what? 500? And you get your amount, which is how much? How much? <laughs> 1,000? 519. 19. 19. Like this? Yes. yes. No sense? No. Yes. It used to be my daily allowance <laughs> in those days. Daily. Yes. Daily, my sis. It's not that bad, you know? Just imagine 10 years ago. <laughs> what about now? <laughs> Just say. <laughs> okay, any question, guys? <laughs> Yes. But guys, can you see that if you master this, you never go wrong? Ah, no, I'm not satisfied. Can I change it? I'm changing it. Can I? <laughs> guys, I gave you 500 here. Can you see that? And I say, please find what? Okay, come with the fraction. 25 because I'm looking for it. Divide by 75 because I've been given it. Times where what? We are on fire. How much? This is boring. Six, seven. Just like that. The challenge is you must know what you are looking for. And you must know what has been given. I'm telling you. Now, remember we are experimenting here. I'm going to change some of the things here. Let's say, for example, the markup is what? 25%, but they change. They say the markup is on what? 
They say what? So we need to analyze now. Remember, we are going to change this part. Because the markup is on cost, where must I put 100? Cost price. Uh, in line with what? Cost price. The markup is still what? Please satisfy the formula. How much here? 125. Can you see? How does it change? Because of that. On cost price, 100 in line with what? Cost price. On selling price, 100 in line with what? If it was possible to say on Sylvester, 100 in line with Sylvester. I'm just trying to make a point. I know it's boring, but you, make, you, you get it. Don't waste your time. Give me the answer. I gave you 670 here. And I say, please find the selling price. Is that 3,000? 300? Okay. Please just show me for interest sake here. You said? 125 over? Times? Okay, see you on fire. Remember, you must always think of the haters when we're doing these things. You get that spirit, okay? You accelerate. Because you want to impress them. Bye bye, markups. This is boring. Okay?